Hey, orange one here. So uh, we're gonna go on a little bit of a different plan. So I, I actually drove through this city, through these blocks. I would like to clear out that road. And that's gonna be like, I think a good little connection between us and this side for looting. But I think we're gonna go to this railroad uh, station and look for, um, if I look at this, um, I wrote on this basically are what I need to do uh, to collect for the um, base upgrade for upgrading the bedrooms. So yeah, we need four metal sheets. I need I think five more pipes. Um, we need a lot of planks. Basically, the planks is gonna be the biggest issue. We're gonna need a wood panel. I think we already have that, and mattresses. Um, we can, I think, attach the mattresses to the outside of the car. So that, I think, might be how I take the mattresses. Um, so we've got, like, kind of a couple part goal here. What is that? Oh. <laughs> it looked different than what I, I've, I've seen before. Um, for that. Okay. Well, I'm just going to keep on going. Don't mind me. And just ignore whatever smoky zombie that was. And there was also like, there's a couple wildlife things out here. Like there's some turkeys that I saw. So if we just like go and spawn those reality bubbles, then we'll be able to feed ourselves off of them down the road. Oh look, there's a pocket deer. Where Where is that? I know that we saw a pocket deer just a second ago. But now I'm not seeing it. They've gone and hidden themselves from us. That's a shame. There, I'll, I'll just put it on my map though. It's good to know where those those guys are if we need the stomachs, right? Um, so yeah, we're pretty much at the railroad station here. I think we'll just kind of do a little bit of combat to clear it out. And yeah. We'll hopefully get some of the gear that we're looking for. There's uh how many corrosives? There's one corrosive right there. So that one is the one that I really want to be careful with. Um, I've also found that I've given Harvey his own food. Like if I look at his um he, he's not hungry or thirsty because I've been giving him his own food and water to feed himself as needed. And he's got plenty of storage space, so it's it's been like totally fine doing it that way. Yeah, I'm gonna just drop that and drop that and get out my Jane. Cause we've got decent focus right now. I'm pretty happy with this the focus that we got. Um it would be nice if it was a little bit better, but it is what it is. Okay, he's he's fighting one. I'll fight the other. You're not running away, are you man? Really? Come on. You got this, uh, Harvey. Can't believe you sometimes. It's so annoying. We had it. We had it under control. So much better than now. Oh god. Okay, now Harvey's made me mad. I'm gonna have to like run back and get my gun or maybe get back in the car. I don't know if we're gonna be able to easily. We do have the joint servos going. I could if I need to get the adrenaline pump. I think that I'm okay without it though. Do I go for the gun or do I go for the car? I think I'm just gonna go for the car just because our stand is kind of low. Yeah. You guys aren't gonna get me right now. Yeah, I mean, they'll try, but they can't actually get me. Where's Harvey at right now? I don't even know. Whatever. It's just kill a Yeah, that should do some damage, kind of thin them out a little bit for us. And let's see. Harvey is all the way down there. Well, I guess we could go pick him up. I think I see him right around here. Yeah, there you are. Let's go. Let's go back over here. He he should come to the car now. 
I like opened up the car for him. You can come on in, Harvey. Let's just get our, our breath together for a minute. There's gotta be some zombies coming our way. I gotta get my, my gun back. We'll just wait here just for a little bit. Um, sure, catch your breath. Fine. We'll get a little bit closer again. Harvey, man, I can't believe that you ran away from that so badly. I mean, actually, to be fair, it was probably a good call. There was actually quite a few of them. And I would, could, we could have, could have taken quite a few of them, but not all that group. That was actually pretty significant. But we can handle that, right? There you go. Like, if we are just, like, kind of pulling them smartly, like, we don't over-engage them, he should, he should continue to engage them. Okay, now he's running away, and that's kind of annoying me. Yeah, we got this man. How are they doing, health-wise? Okay, this one I continue to focus on. Yeah, you're fine, man. Oh, he's getting in there, okay. Um, what is this right here? A Nerd versus a Hungry. Let's go for the Nerd. Okay, um, and... He's just about meleeed all of them. Nice. Now that's what I was expecting to have, have happen last time, but it didn't. I'll just wait, get my breath back. He's got his breath back. Um... Nicely done, man. I think I'll go up on foot and then we'll we'll get our gun back. I don't think I drove over the gun. We got close to it though. Oh, that's a corrosive. Where's my gun? It's right here. Yeah, and it's fine. Uh, I hate these corrosives though, they're so annoying. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's a Hulk there. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, actually, Harvey could probably take out the Hulk easier than I could. I'm just getting the gun because I anticipate we're going to need it. Oh, man, Harvey, did you just get corrosive attacked, like, pretty bad there? Okay, he did kill it. I'm a little bit concerned for his his well-being right now. You can you can punch my friend if you need a punch loan. Oh my god, he landed in acid. He literally landed in acid there. How could that be, have been worse? I'm gonna just stand on the other side of the acid here and shoot you, and hopefully. I mean, I could go auto on you. Probably not the worst move. There we go. Take off auto. I think that I'm gonna just let him take them out. Yeah, you're fine. You got this. I don't know why you would not attack the big boomer. He's definitely an easier target than the Naird. Come on, man. Kill it. There you go. We might want to get back to the car. That looks like to be his plan right now. Is kind of running away. Can you kill the raccoon, man? Is there a corrosive that I can hit? Yeah. As long as the corrosive doesn't get in the fight, I'm okay. I'm gonna start giving Carlos, or not Carlos, that that was my other NPC friend. Um, the hungry zombie. Oh, they're they're attacking me now. Of course, I'm out of ammo. Yeah, sure, just drop it. It's fine. You know, I'm gonna, because I know that you guys are probably sick of that heartbeat. I'm gonna turn that off for you. Can I? 
have them get ran into him. Yes, I can. Cool. I'm going to do that then. The wrestler, though, I would like to kill. Because he is a tough one. Especially combined with the others. Oh, I guess... Harvey was thinking the same thing, I guess. Let's just get that so that it collapse on him. Uh, that that guy just keeps on attacking me. This guy. You need to die, dude. There we go. Can I just kill that wrestler? There we go. I think that we're looking much better now. This is now uh, very much manageable. I don't understand his movement sometimes. It It seriously doesn't make sense to me. The, the raccoon, I think I'm just going to kill just because it's annoying me. <laughs> How are you doing, Woundwise man? Yeah, that leg is pretty messed up. I'm not liking that too much. Let's just get a little bit closer to the car just because of that. Um. Oh my gosh, you're charging in. Seriously? Like, now you're charging in. Okay. I'll try and take aim. I'm going to be a little bit more cautious because if he kills it, I don't want to hit him. There we go. Creatures. Um, you know what? I think that I'm going to just kind of let it go for now. Yeah, I'll, I'll take out the Screecher. Just make it a little bit easier. Wait, really? I didn't kill it? What? How's that shrieker? It took three bullets. Kill the screecher, please. Uh, guess I gotta take out the screecher. Okay. I hate wasting bullets, but nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Definitely a beast at work here. Um. Ooh, that right arm is actually pretty badly mangled. I'll let you let you finish him off though. Yeah, I'll pick up my magazine. I completely forgot that I dropped that. Uh let's see. Should we hang around or should we just bounce? I, I'm I'm thinking that we should just bounce. Um and oh now we don't have the heartbeat going anymore, so there we go. You got the game audio back. Um, I do just want to make sure that we've cleared out as many of these corpses as, as we can. Looks like we've done a pretty good job. So, um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's time that we went back to the car. And, jeez, it's insane seeing all these corpses after, like, was that 13 minutes? That was basically, like, 10 minutes of combat, right? What's this right here? Sharp rock? Did you just mess up that rock by stepping on it? I need to do some first aid on you. I think we need to fix him up a little bit back at base. Yeah, you can, you can pulp it for sure. Let's get you back in, uh, taken care of. I need I need more bandages. I think I have the antiseptic. Maybe let's just get a first aid kit. I also unloaded our car a little bit of all the redundant, useless things. Not all of them, but a good chunk of them. Oh, why am I? Oh, yeah. Actually, I need the toolbox because I wanted to use that. Um, let's see. There, there it is. The first aid kit. I always have a hard time finding that for some reason. Like, not where I'd expect it. Um, antiseptic first. And then bandage that. Definitely gotta start with that lowest one. And then we'll just kinda do all, all parts. Yeah, I think that, you know, it's 
it may be a little bit wasteful using our antiseptic like this, but I have tons of it. So it's like, what do you mean by wasteful, right? Um, yeah, so you've got everything disinfected. You're completely disinfected. It's kind of also weird during like coronavirus time to be like using like disinfectant like that just so willy nilly in a game. Wait, does I just realized the first aid kit has enough bandages to cover your entire body, plus some. Just you know, pointing that out. Um, I will go ahead and do a little bit of first aid on myself as well. We do have the repair nanobots, so not really essential, but whatever. Why don't we have a... let's see, um, I think I had some milk that we, that we uh, made. So maybe let's have a smoked sausage and some of our milk. I know, delicious, right? Actually, that doesn't sound that bad. It'd be better if it was cheese, though. Uh, let's drive in. Let's let's see if we can get a little bit closer, and do some um, deconstruction. There's a skull zombie there. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, there's a corrosive zombie here. Not just a skull zombie. Okay. Ah, the skull zombies just grab me. I can't move. Come on, are you kidding me? Get out of this thing's grip, man. Adrenaline pump. I'm breaking out. Um, sure, like that. That works. Then I can take out the corrosive. Oh my god, there's even a Hulk one. Um, there's the Krosif one down. I think probably want to get the Night Stalker next. Because they're going to punch me real soon. And I'd rather get thrown um, not that way. By the big boy. There we go. I'm disoriented. Oh god. Um, okay, yeah. Well, our friend got thrown. Which is good, I guess, instead of me getting thrown, but... I'm gonna try and kite them over this way. Uh-oh, the big one and him are fighting. That is a little bit concerning, because I don't think that he can really do enough damage against that big guy. Can I... Kind of duck and weave. I can. Okay, cool. I'm gonna reload here. Uh, just drop. This skull zombie needs to go. I was not anticipating a big dude like this right here. And they have really high ar armor. Like, it's really hard to actually kill them due to this armor. Uh oh. There we go. He's just about down. One more hit. Or not. There we go. How are you doing over there, man? Oh man. Those are not good. Yeah, we need to we need to take it easy. Or you you sure should definitely take it easy there, buddy. I myself am not too worried about. Oh no, you're fighting. In. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to kill these guys for with you. I'm make, just making sure I got a good line of sight. That's why I moved up there. If you, I'm just a little bit concerned about the damage he's got. I mean, he can take these dudes out, but he's also I think he gets like in pain and then moves slower. I'm pretty sure. Let's get in the car so that we're nice and secure and safe. That whole 
that husk can go shocking around as much as they want. But we're getting out of here. Um, I will snipe them though. I think. Yeah, where is that whole husk? Oh, I'm out of ammo. That's what I get for trying to take him out without checking. And, okay, we got our mags good now. Okay, they're down. I could check for bionics. I actually haven't checked for bionics in a zombie in forever. Actually, you know what? Since we got our autonomous scalpels, we haven't used this. Um, cool. Okay, so that I am going to use, I think, on this guy then. Sure. Pick him up. I think we just need a little bit of time for both my ally and myself to heal up passively. So we're just gonna kind of drive off out into the countryside. And we'll see about dissecting this dude here. Dissect. Yep. Okay, cool. And we have... I think this must be better than an X-Acto knife. Right? Yeah, that spitter can hang out up there. Adrenaline pump. That's a good one. Can that be used by an NPC? I don't think it can be. Um, sorry, let's get that heart rate away. There we go. And then we'll just get a little bit of distance. Hello, spitter. Oh, he even tried to go for a friend there in the car. That's so funny. Yeah, you can really, like, mess with the zombies super, um, super easily in this game if you know some of that movement stuff. Okay. Is it just me, or does the dismembering take less time now that we've got the scalpel fingers? Now that we're Edward Scissored hands, you know? Um... I also wanted to just check that I didn't have, um, whatchamacallit, a spacing, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> Let's get over to this railroad. Part of the reason I also wanted to check out the railroad is that, I'm just gonna run these guys over, get that. Is I wanted to possibly see if there was an underground lab around here somewhere. Uh, what were these guys? I mean, I feel bad because, like, on one hand, I want to um, get our friends some more experience. On the other hand, we're kind of messed up right now. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get some experience myself. The melee experience, that is. Go ahead and close that. Um, and let's just take a second to unload some of the stuff. Yeah, we don't really need a lot of this stuff. And I'm not going to carry the toolbox with me for now. And let's go ahead and get the Jane out. We'll just keep that in our, in our inventory because it should be like in a backpack or something, essentially. Hello. Oh, there's three of you all of a sudden. They're just like the, the children. So, not too bad. Wasn't there another one that was like over here or something? We got, what is that, a Night Stalker? Yeah, that thing's gotta be nasty. I should probably shoot you. There's no need that I get in melee with that thing. Um, the putrid as well. I don't really need to do melee with you, but I think 
I'll, I'll go melee with the others that are coming my way right now. We'll take out the boomer first, though. That's pretty easy. I, I just realized that, like, I just did, like, a ton more combat, even though I've just been trying to get, like, that basic gear that we need. And my torso is really badly hurt. <laughs> yeah, I should just probably go hide somewhere just for a little bit and, like, craft or something. I don't know. It is, like, the morning in Cataclysm time right now, so it's kind of like... Oh, I'm throwing up heavily. Great. Yeah, also the problem with getting good, like, when you fight zombies, it's not very healthy to fight zombies. Something they don't tell you in zombie fighting school. Also, I don't need my headlights or my aisle lights on right now. That's just silliness. Uh, can I make some mutagen or something? I think we just need to, um... Spend some time doing something else. That's only gonna take 13 minutes. Okay. Sure, why don't we just use that stuff? And then pour it into that gallon jug, yeah. It was weird, it didn't say we had enough things. Uh, mutagen. I don't think I really want to make too much mutagen right now. Could we just see about... And we could make ourselves a real ni nice meal. Yeah, let's make ourselves like a deluxo meal. It's gonna be like really nice. Seriously, there's like not very many things there. Uh, we could do deluxe uh, veggie beans and rice. That sounds good. Let's go with that. Um, I think we'll go with the dandelions because they're fresh, and <laughs> also they're gonna go off. Sure. Okay. And then... Maybe we could do other morale boosting activities. Just to get our, our focus back up. Let's play some music. And... Play anything for a while. Oh wow. Does that then just give me a morale boost? Interesting. And look, I'm already fully healed. The wonders of modern medicine, right? Uh, why don't we go ahead and get that Jane out and we'll go kill this thing. Get some nice experience. Hello. Thank you for giving me like six times as much experience as I normally would get. <laughs> um, I'm hallucinating. Fantastic. Also, we are somewhat irradiated. It's been going down. And you maybe notice that we're less encumbered. I think I took the butterfly thing off, but we're still carrying our um, our shotgun around just in case. Uh, let's see. I'm just kind of curious as to where I'm at with my cutting. You know, actually, our companion here has almost as good of cutting skill as we do. I and mean, we're at six. They're at four. Actually, yeah, we're still a fair amount up, but they've got some serious good dodging skill. Um, let's see, what else can I do? Let's go ahead and get the harmonica back out. Play that. And then, yeah, we'll just keep on doing that. I'm just curious. If I just let it go all the way to the end, what happens? Played game. But I think that that's a generic thing. That's not the, um, like, ro Robot Finds Kitten, I think, gives you, like, an extra boost. Oh, our camera's all banged up. That's a shame. Oh, also, check this out. We lost our gasoline. I, we, we collected all that gasoline, and then we lost it. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get that Jane back out. Hello, you. It looks like, also, we're getting like actual damage um i think randomly i think it's from the inflammation but i'm not sure because that says that's pain i don't think it actually is supposed to hurt you though um go ahead get that h back out h i mean harmonica <laughs> 
and we'll see if we can get into this railroad. I'm just curious, honestly, and we're near the end of the episode, so I'm just kind of curious as to if this even leads to anything, you know? Because they can have, like, the underground bunker things. Uh, can we just... Um, I would like to just, yeah, take care of that corpse there. And then we'll just kind of clear on through there. And we should be able to go underground here, but it looks like we might not be able to actually. There might be like some sort of smoky zombie there. Dang it. Uh, there's more Kevlar Hulks. Man, there's... The zombies around here are no joke. Like, seriously. They, they've they definitely upped in difficulty. We're in the, the major leagues now. What we need is we need to um, get, like, more companions and get, like, a little team. Uh, you know what also we need to do is we need to use our robot. I have a little robot for fighting zombies, and I never use him. I don't know if you guys remember that, but they, they shoot out electricity. That's also part of my concern, is that they wouldn't be good for my companion here. But I think that they would be fine for me to fight side by side. My companion actually has the dielectric capacitance thing, so I think he might have resistance to electricity, but that's only when, like, for a couple seconds at a time. Um, what's the bot called? Like a shock. Um, is it the samurai? Yeah, it's an inactive samurai. That's what I want. Come here, Sam. And we'll, I think we'll start the next episode actually with Sam here. We'll, we'll use Sam in combat. Um, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.